You're watching Showbiz Insider, your entertainment news roundup. So the 13th edition of the Dubai Jazz Festival brought back the theme of much more than jazz. And the multi-day event brought together international artists from all genres. That's from jazz and blues to rock and pop. And we got to hang out with the stars. Since 2003, the Jazz Fest has created a beautiful history of jazz idols and commercial headliners. Last year it was Santana, Oli Mers and The Wanted, and this year they went legendary. Superstar Sting was supported by Lindsey Sterling, R&B icon John Legend followed Esperanza Spalding, and James Blunt and Christina Perry opened the event, and over 25,000 music fans attended. Kicking off the lineup was James Blunt, four platinum albums, former tank commander, also known for having the coolest comeback tweets. He sold over 20 million albums with his debut album. He's also a really nice guy and a good laugh. Catching up with him backstage, he confessed he loves his job, mainly because it means he gets to be a full-time tourist. And now at the end of an 18-month world tour, how he catered for his set in Dubai. This is almost the last show of my world tour, so I can really consider everything else just been a practice for here. Um, but yeah, um, I've played here a couple of times before. I suppose we're playing quite late at night, so I'm going to try and keep it as kind of fun and as upbeat, perhaps as short and as sweet as I can make it. His fourth album, Moon Landing, is an album about dreams, longing and first love. Getting back to basics and rediscovering the power of music to communicate emotion. I want to do something a bit more personal, I suppose, than my third. My third was really designed for my world tour, to fill your arenas with sound. I was picking an electric guitar, trying to be a rock star, um, unconvincingly. And uh, so for this one, I wrote some deeply personal songs, and I went back to find a man who recorded my first album, Back to Bedlam, ten years ago. The producer of that, his name's Tom Rothrock. And we locked ourselves in a studio for a year, um, and, and I suppose I need to go to him because he was there before the audience. Of the, you know, um, and, and we made this album that we love. I suppose locking ourselves in, away in the studio for a year in this little capsule um, of the album that sounds old school and retro and nostalgic and lonely, and that's why we called it Moonland. Some of his videos are shot in a raw, unconventional style with mega hit bonfire involving crashing a wedding. Yeah, well, the song in the first place was fun. I jumped on One Republic's tour bus because I was writing the song uh, with Ryan Tedder, their lead singer. I was a groupie uh, to the band One Republic, although I never had to put out. Um, and, uh, uh, and we wrote that song on the road. And then for the video, um, we just we didn't use actors. We just met regular people on the on the as we crossed two states in America, Wyoming and Idaho, on a, a bike. I love motorbikes. And uh, and for the final scene, we were pulling into a car park, and uh, there was a bar there with a wedding taking place, which we didn't know about. And they spilt out saying, "What the hell are you doing here?" And I got out my guitar and I played the bonfire heart, and the bride and groom had their first dance of their wedding in the car park surrounded by their friends and we filmed it and that's what is my video. And known for some cracking comeback tweets, he emphasised that more people should be talking about music consumers who display love for music rather than any negative tweeters. Well, I think first and foremost it's worth realising that we focus on negatives always. Um, you guys are trying to sell things to a public through the media and you know full well the negative sells far more than positive sells. And so, you know, so anyone in the public eye um, knows that you can get a few negative comments. But it's worth remembering in your mind's eye that there'll be 5,000 people turning up tonight perhaps um, to a concert and I do this every single night. 5,000 people turn up and those people have bought tickets. Also known for heartbreaking lyrics, Christina Perry belted out songs from her second studio album, Head or Heart. She was a big hit both on and off the stage. She's great. We just I just met with her backstage. She's great, and uh, I love her songs. I love her style. So I think she's going to be great. So Her debut single, Jar of Hearts, sold over 30 million copies in the US 
and was a hit around the world. In 2012, she wrote and recorded A Thousand Years for the film The Twilight Saga, selling over 4 million copies in the US and being certified four times platinum. Well, I've been listening to her music for a few years now, so uh, you know to actually see her in concert in Dubai was really, really awesome. I mean, that voice is so impressive. So yeah, it's really nice. Good start at the Jazz Fest. Favorite tracks from her? Uh, it's got to be Jar of Hearts and uh, what's the last one? Human, yeah, absolutely. I love Christina Perry. She's such a cutie pie. I swear. I never like. I never knew she was like so real, you know. And her voice is amazing. I like the Twilight song. I know it's pretty um, lame, but I love that song. It's really great. Next up is a man who needs no introduction. Living legend and former The Police frontman, it is of course Sting. Can you believe he's 63 years old, is a 16-time Grammy Award winner, and he's returned to the UAE after celebrating 25 years as a solo artist. Season pro, this tour and performance included some new tunes from his latest album, The Last Ship. It's nautical themed and inspired by folk songs sung by British dock workers in the 1980s. The album features guest stars such as ACDC singer Brian Johnson and actor singer Jimmy Nail. The Englishman in New York star casually commanded the stage, strumming hearts with every breath you take and leaving the crowd begging for a message in a bottle. Hey, I love him because he's from Newcastle, which is one of the best places in the world. He's a wonderful bloke. And he knows his favourite song, don't you, Lee? Fields of Girls, apparently. In fact, that's the best song in the world, yeah? Tell me, you know, what do you love most about Sting? Everything, to be honest. He's been on the scenes for such a long time, hasn't he? And he seemed to be evolving and just being with everybody. <laughs> Lindsay Sterling's amazing fusion of classic violin, dubstep and electronic music is a modern day musical triumph. Complete with a love of costume and dance, she's a YouTube sensation that the TV show America's Got Talent seriously missed out on. She's released two studio albums and her debut was nominated for the 2014 Billboard Music Awards in the top dance electronic albums category, completely unique. Closing the diverse headline shows was Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter John Legend. Now you might not know this, but originally his career was built on a series of successful collaborations, like playing piano on Lauryn Hill's albums. Then his solo work took off with the world's most romantic song ever. That's All of Me, landing the Billboard number one single. He's also been named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People, and he recently released his fifth studio album, Love in the Future, with exec producer Kanye West. In a massive celebration for regional music, All of Me has been given a Middle Eastern twist, and a new version with acclaimed Arabic music producer Jean-Marie Rachi fuses some of the region's leading Arabic musicians, and it got the first ever live performance right here at the Jazz Fest, legendary. Now I've got to say, we did miss the jazz garden this year, but complementing the acts was the Urban Sessions, which combined dining and music and brought proper jazz and blues to restaurants around the city. Gotta love the Jazz Fest ride, and it's certainly been the month of music here in Dubai. Next up, we've got Red Fest and the Grammys, and we're going to get a little more street and introduce you to Dubai's answer to hip-hop. Mm -hmm. 